Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a special Wednesdays haul. This haul will be all paper pads. These are the Hot Buy paper pads from Michaels. They had them 70% um, off. Plus, I had a coupon for an additional 20% off. So, pretty much, I think I got all of these basically for the price of one paper pad. And the actual price of one paper pad is $19.99. That's the price before any coupon or any sales, which I never buy them at that price. I try to always wait until they're 70% off plus the 20 or 25% off coupon. Sometimes Michaels does the 25% off. But anyway, if you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. And let's get into these paper pads. So this first paper pad is Christmas Cabin. I wasn't sure if I already had this one in my stash, but since they were such a good deal, I went ahead and bought it anyway because regardless, I can use the paper. So let's go ahead and flip through. This is kind of like a farmhouse vent. Well, yeah, more of a farmhouse feel, I think. So you've got the wood. Not really crazy about that green paper, but it would make a nice um, background. This is a grayish color with gold foil. Those are pine cones, which I'm not crazy about. These are little gold Christmas trees, gold foil. This is a text pattern with Christmas type phrases like do not open until December 25th, family time, have a holly jolly Christmas, let it snow, etc, etc. This, I'm not sure how this is Christmassy. It doesn't look really look red, it looks more orange. But maybe it's because of the gold foiling that gives it that look. Then here's another like sweater pattern, gold foil. This is snowflakes. Then this is the green with the Christmas trees. It's very subtle pattern in the background. This is the plaid. It's kind of what won me over. This is another like sweater print, looking print. Some washed wood. Green, black, and red stripes. Green with little snowflakes on it more plaid this is I think I've seen this is um, another sweater pattern you may not be able to see it it's very subtle this really seems odd in this paper pad but it has that same snowflake background with the houses Buffalo plaid, black and white. These are, I think, are birch tree trunks. And these are the cut aparts. They have holly and mistletoe. And then the, I think this is one of the prettiest patterns in here. This gold foil, I don't know if it's just like evergreen branches in gold foil. So that's it for Christmas Cabin. And again, it doesn't have Hot Buy on it, but this was one of the Hot Buy papers. This one, okay, now I'm going from my not so favorite to my favorite. So this one is Bold Brush Strokes. What made me go ahead and get this one was because I'm making things for other people. So I don't have to love every Thing in order to make something for someone else um, everybody has different tastes so I'm trying to accommodate other tastes as well so let's flip through this one again it's bold brush strokes hot by paper pad and so this 
So this is really pretty actually. It's just not my thing. I thought this was really pretty. It would make a nice background for some type of mermaid theme as well as this one. It's got like a washed edge. All of these really. These are the cut aparts. I don't know. I, I guess I do like it. <laughs> it's just the blues and the greens I do like. Because they're like the aqua type blues. Life is made of little moments. So like this is kind of where you start losing me. But even that is not awful. I think this is really pretty too. Again, more mermaid papers. I'm not crazy about the orange and yellows. I think that's kind of what threw me. See this, I don't get it at all. That one's pretty. And that one is just beautiful. Never stop dreaming. So this one is much better than I actually thought it was. I mean, it's kind of hard to flip through them in the store because they have them taped up. So you kind of just have to get as good of a look as you can. But this is much nicer than I originally thought. Just looking at this cover, I would never have purchased this. Um, like I said, I did get a little preview of the inside. But, this, but the samples on the cover don't do what's actually inside the paper pad justice, which I found that happens sometimes. Because just looking at this, like I said, I wouldn't have picked this paper pad. But I'm glad I got it now. Next up is Warm Luxury. I basically got this one for the color scheme. Let's see what's inside. So you got your pinks, orange, or peachy colors, your periwinkle-ish pattern, the floral, fine joy in everything. That's pretty. And I think this is like a copper, I'm not sure if this is a rose gold foil or not. It doesn't really say rosy to me. It looks more copperish. Those were the crosses. So this is more of a peachy pink um, paper pad with some very basic pattern so far. There's some little lavender pinkish purple thrown in. And I guess that kind of coordinates with the floral and the wash or gradient in the background. This has little polka dots on it as well. This is really pretty. Just the stripes with the copper foil. I think I've, I have this paper in another paper pad actually. When I first looked through this paper pad I thought this pattern really seemed out of place. But there's the crosses again. Here are the pattern strips. Oops. And here, I guess this is like the new take on mermaid scales. This, these are the purple, orange, pinky version. I have a paper that's similar to this, and it is. I've been hoarding it. It's like the last few papers I have in that paper pad, but it has the gold, so I really like the copper too. This would have made a good um, background or layering piece for a Valentine's Day card, actually. And here are some more cut parts. I think the, these papers would be nice in a not so much junk, junk journal, actually. And I may have to test that out. 
Be different, babe. Okay. That one seems a little out of place, too. Um, but that's it for this one. Again, I like the color scheme, so main reason why I got that one. Then I picked up this one. This is not my style at all. Um, but I kind of like, this is dark rainbow, but I kind of like the celestial moon stars crystal kind of vibe so it was just that the paper I'm not a I'm not a big fan of blues and dark purples but for some reason I just really like this paper I've looked at it like two or three times even my daughter um was trying to convince me to get it at one point and I said no because I don't know what I would do with it but the right price came along and I picked it up. Now I need to figure out what I can do with all these um, Zodiac cut aparts. Hmm. That's like a moth or a butterfly on a moon and roses. You are destined for great things. The colors are really pretty. They're deep and rich so far. I like the purplish wash. It's very deep again. It's a hand crystals and roses. Zodiac. These are just crystals, the hollow paper, some more cut aparts. These are the, oh, see I got lost in just looking, but these are the um, strips, pattern strips. More hollow. These are six by six cut up hearts. And then that looks like more astrology charts. It's very faint. You can barely see the pattern. But that's it. I'm actually glad I was able to get this. I, again, I wouldn't have wanted to pay 50% off or anything like that. But for the price, I thought it was a great deal. So I grabbed it up. There was one paper pad um that i didn't see that i'd seen a uh, flip through on youtube of but i couldn't find it um in the store and i guess it was there i just didn't see it so i was just playing around online and i decided to go to michaels.com and look and see what they had and i was able to find this paper pad so i did the buy online pick up in store option with michaels so this was my first time doing that this is how um i picked up the paper pad my experience with it i wasn't really happy with at the store that i went to you don't pick it up from the front counter i had to go to the back of the store to custom framing and there was no one in custom framing so i ended up looking for walking around the store looking for an employee to get some help um and she was quick to tell me you need to go to custom framing and I was like I know that but there's no one back there well I'll call someone back there for you and I was like okay so anyway I don't know if I'll do it again um, it's gonna have to be something that I really really want and it, it's just maybe I was just I don't know anyway I didn't appreciate it at all um, <laughs> cuz I wasn't really feeling up to walking around the store so much 
I was hoping to just dash in and dash out. But anyway, so this is Parisian Lane. And again, I'd seen it, seen a flip through. So I'm going to share one with you. And you know, if, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I like Parisian themed items. So let's see what we have here. A nice floral pattern. Nice like quilted pattern. These are pastel y, pastel like colors in a wash. C'est la vie with the Eiffel Tower. The stripes in the floral that all says Parisian to me for whatever reason. Here's some more floral. I really like that floral. Just some um, random dots or irregular dots. And these are gold foil. Some 6x6 six six cut aparts. Stripes. And then this is just a watercolor people pattern with the street lamp. More quilted eyelashes stripes pink stripes that this is like planner girl stuff to me shoes lipstick lips bobby pins makeup glasses or shades hearts oh those are heart glasses aren't they yeah this is the cut aparts Another floral uh, text pattern on pink. I'm glad there's so much pink in this because that makes my life easier <laughs> when I'm trying to make things for myself at least. Another floral. A pink and I don't know if that's gold. That might be a coppery pattern again. I mean a foil again. Not sure. Some macaroons. Eiffel Tower pattern. This is really pretty. This would have been something nice for Valentine's Day as well. There are the pattern strips. You get a closer view of the people on this too. More quilted pattern and more floral and that's it so this is my favorite of the ones that I picked up that's all of the paper pads that I have now I need to get work and start making stuff with these so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below Again, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you receive updates when I upload. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!